Hi, and welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this video, we'll be continuing with the shot MM23. In part two, we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. So, Maya is open. First thing we're going to do is go to File, Import our camera. We'll navigate to where we exported out our camera mail script. We'll import. And now you should have a scene group in your outliner with your desert base and your point group. So now we'll import our point mesh. So go file, import. We'll select our PC mesh, select import. And now we have our geometry in our scene as well. So if we go to, if we select our point mesh, we can control G and group it. And we can call it set geo dot underscore grp for group and we can middle mouse click and drop it under our scene so now everything under our scene group is connected so if we go panels perspective select our desert base we still have the original image sequence on so we need to switch that out with our undistorted plate so if we select our camera with this little camera icon up here we can go view select camera then we want to go to the right in our attributes editor select image plane shape and we can go to this little yellow file and go to our undistorted plate. Make sure you go to your undistorted one. Select open and use image sequence. Change your alpha gain to 0 0.7 and depth to 1. So now if you select your mesh, you can now see your mesh is lining up with your undistorted plate. So we'll probably, if we go to panels perspective and look at our geometry, it's kind of it looks a bit rough. So what we'll do, we'll just right click, select face and go back to our camera actually in panels. We'll just scrub through and we can, we'll be able to see which ones are sort of not great. So go back to perspective. I'll just go back to my object mode. And I'll go to Sculpting, and I'll just select the Relax tool. If I hold B, it will make my brush larger. And I can just click on my mesh, and it will start relaxing the geometry around each of the vertices. And this should average out the geometry, so it shouldn't make anything too crazy. You might have to delete some vertices to make it a little bit better. But we'll just go over the top of this and sort relax it all. Yes, it looks a bit more usable. Change the brush size, make it a little bit bigger so we get more of the areas. So we've relaxed it a bit, but it's still quite lumpy. So we'll actually select the smooth tool now. We'll change the brush size. We'll just smooth out our mesh. It should get rid of some of the big lumps. Obviously this may change the geometry and depth a little bit for some areas. So you don't want to overdo it. You just want to get these really big spikes. It's not supposed to be perfectly flat, but we want to remove all this sort of not great geometry spikes. And if you wanted, you can just go over the top of this and just quad draw over the top of it to make it a little bit nicer. But for now, we'll just leave as it is for some rough geometry. So we smooth that out. That looks a little bit nicer. So if we go back to our panels, select our camera. If we go back to selecting our mesh, we can see it's a lot nicer. We've got some odd stuff here, so we can select the faces, just delete them. just lighten points that are in the wrong depth. But like I say, you can go through and 
pretty much remodel most of this if we want. Now if we go to time, you can see that's much smoother. And you can just delete the history from that as well. So we're done now. You can continue to make this mesh a little bit better if you want. Um, but yeah, we've set up our camera and smoothed out some of these spikes. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.